Day 2 of the EPBF Dynamic Billiard European Championships for Youth Players here in Porto or Slovenia. And uh, after we've played the straight pool competition yesterday down to the semi-finals, which will be played tonight, we started the 10 ball individuals this morning. And um, we had a very big upset at the 10 ball uh, individuals in the juniors, Joshua Filler from Germany. He had to give in to Austria's Daniel Gutenberger, and it was not a close result. It was a clear 7-3 victory by Gutenberger. Uh, a close result was the match between Mehmet Ali Zöskin from Turkish North Cyprus and Anton Slatev from Bulgaria. That match went hill-hill with the better end for the Bulgarian player. Another first round match in the girls division. We had Natalia Zerostan from Russia. She faced Ugne Starkaite from Lithuania. And uh, Zerostan, probably the more experienced player in that uh, matchup, she won the match with 5 to 3 uh, against the Lithuanian. We also had the match between Guido Jansen from the Netherlands and Rafael Baal from Germany. Now, this is what happened there. We are in the 11th rack of the match between Guido Jansen and Rafael Wahl. Jansen from the Netherlands, Wahl from Germany with Guido Jansen executing the break shot. Nothing goes down and we have a relatively clear shot on the one for Rafael Wahl here who misses that shot. And uh, that make, turns the match or the uh, rack into a safety battle here with Guido Jansen taking the initiative. He leaves a tough shot for Rafael Wahl. Who comes up with a good answer? He does not leave a clear shot for Guido Jansen. Um, Jansen, however, tries to play a resave, but he does leave too much of the one ball for Wahl. So Wahl can come up with a really good shot. And now that uh, turns a little bit the roles of the two. Jansen, who was in the active role of being the player to play the safety, now is the one to answer the safety. And um, he comes up with a, quite a good answer here. He leaves a, at least not a makeable ball for Wahl, who comes up with the next safety. And again, he puts the cue ball in the vicinity of a lot of object balls and forces Jansen to play a jump shot, which he first of all hits, but second they look at the cue ball, it's very close to the three, so it leaves a tough shot for Wahl, who decides to not go for the shot, but try to execute another safety. He does not really hide the cue ball behind the five and leaves a shot for Jansen, who surprisingly does not go for the one ball, but decides to play another safety, and look at that. He wanted to hide the cue ball behind the eight, didn't really get there. So he leaves a full ball for Wahl to come up with another safety shot, but now Wahl leaves a shot for Jansen, who pockets the one, but he cannot pocket the two ball, so he has to come up with another good safety here. And uh, he's hiding the cue ball behind the six ball here, and this is a very nasty position for Wahl. Wahl now has to execute a jump shot over two rails, try to hit the two ball, and he commits a foul there that gives ball in hand to Guido Jansen, who uses the opportunity to win the wreck and the match with 74 over Rafael Wahl. So Jansen took the victory in that match and it takes him to the next round, to the next winner's round in the 10 ball competition, while Wahl while, while has to take the detour over the loser's side. In the first round of the pupils we had Jan Divis from the Czech Republic playing with Kailas Persat from the Netherlands. And in that match, Persat had the better nerves and he managed to take the victory with 6-4 over the player from the Czech Republic. Another very high-class match in the girls' division later on happened between Kamila Kotjaeva from Belgium and local hero Anna Gradisnik from Slovenia. Now, Anna is playing the um, girls' division for a long time now and she's also playing in the women but the same is valid for Kamila Kocaeva. So that match was promised to be a very close matchup but to the contrary it was a very clear affair. Kamila Kocaeva did not leave a chance to her opponent from Slovenia and took the victory clearly with 5-2. to two. In another girls matchup 
Natalia Zerostan from Russia was the clear favorite over her teammate Kristina Tkach. But again, normally things turn out the way you don't expect them to. And again, in this match that happened as well, Tkach took the victory over her favorite teammate with 5 to 2. Finally, in the juniors division, we had another close matchup in the winners' qualification round between yesterday's hero Spazian Spazov from Bulgaria and Polish David Tonoya. And uh, that also went hill hill with the better end again for the Polish player. Uh, he won 7 6 over Spazov, who now has to go into the loser side of the 10 ball competition. That's it for the moment. We will be back with more news from the Straight Bull semi finals and finals later on today. So check it out later.